Hey there everyone, Dr. Nomad here, and today I'm going to talk about Phoenix's War Song. What's Phoenix's War Song, you may ask? War Song is an 8x experience boost server, has the vanilla flavor going for it. That War Song used to be a very old private server back in the day by Phoenix. I uh, had a lot of people playing on it, including a lot of Euro Trash. There was a lot of Euro Trash playing on here, in fact. Uh, they would stand out in front of the auction house, and they would extort you for money, basically. Uh, otherwise, you weren't getting into a Molten Core raid. And, um, you know, uh, it was basically uh, pay up or uh, suck my dick. But anyway, the server was very popular for a few years. Uh, as I stated before, a lot of people played on this server. Hamster Wheel. Uh... I know Dodgy Kebab played on the Emerald Dream server. That's another server that's now extinct. That was by the Phoenix team as well. Um, MC Mittens Meow, and I, I, I even believe Spirit Board may have tried it at one point. Um, so a lot of the people in the private server community uh, tried this server out and played on it uh, frequently. And that was until uh, Nostrils launched and Chronos launched and everybody jumped ship over to those servers. Um, Phoenix thought it was a spectacular idea for some reason to fuse their Warsong server and their Emerald Dream server, their vanilla servers basically, onto their Burning Crusade client. And when that happened, everybody stopped fucking playing it. And so now they've retracted their statement, they've retracted what they've done, and they've recreated their old Warsong experience um, with a fraction of the player base, I'll add. And um, basically, that's what we're going to be talking about today. Is it like old Warsong? Have they patched a lot of the old bugs? Have they fixed a lot of the pathfinding issues with their old server? Let's find out. Now, to start off, when I started playing on Warsong again here about a week ago, um, I was worried. Um, I was worried like when you, you know, meet your, your ex or you run into your ex-girlfriend at Costco. Um, you know, it's just... It's, it's kind of awkward for both parties. You really don't know what to say. Uh, there were some good times that were had, bad times. So you're really not knowing what to expect. Um, I, I rolled both an Alliance character and a Horde tune. Uh, I hope that's okay with you, Dodgy. I, I know the, the Horde somehow did something to your family back in the day. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know the details. I just hear rumors. Um, but I did roll a Horde tune, Dodgy. Again, I hope that's okay with you. Just, just triple checking. Um, and right off the bat, again, uh, Alliance seems to be populated in Iron Forge. Seems to be about a decent amount of people playing on the Alliance. Horde, I, I'm going to be honest here, I ran into maybe six or seven people on Nogramar. But then again, I'm playing on Pacific Time in the United States. So I don't know if I were to play in uh, you know Euro a European time, time zone, if there would be more people. Uh, I just don't know. Um, but that's that's the first thing I want to get off uh, my chest about this server um, so far my impressions on on it Second thing I wanted to cover is the pathfinding in caves uh, usually caves especially with fucking war song back in the day um, War song back. I don't know back when I first started playing on it, which was about 2014 um, Caves in war song on the on the server were fucking terrible uh, the Phoenix team uh, with the pathfinding, I, I had fucking ogres jump through walls. I had fucking enemies fall through the map. I had my pet get stuck in walls. Uh, you know, I, I fell through the map twice. Um, Phoenix was just fucking awful when it, when, it, when it came to caves. And so far, surprisingly, when I started out here in uh, Goldshire, not Goldshire, excuse, excuse me, Northshire, uh, the cave and the pathfinding seemed to be working fairly well, actually. So I will... Uh, I will give you guys a clap for that. Good job, uh, I guess. That's that's something. Uh, another thing I want to talk about is the whole vote point gear system they have. You can go online, you can vote on their website, and can get uh, basically the equivalent of rares, rare items, rare gear on their website. You can also donate, and if you donate money, you get incentives, you get better gear, you get gold, of course. Uh, though I have seen a lot of gold farmers on this server offering 100 gold for about 99 cents. What else? What else was I going to bring up? Oh, yeah. Uh, you can, when you train your spells, training is just like on the Archangel server, their Burning Crusade client server. Uh, training your spells is free. You do not pay a single dime for any of their spells. So that's, that's kind of cool if you're into that. 
Um, anything, you know, anything else I can note off the bat? Uh, most of the quests seem to be working rather well, but then again, uh, I don't know if I will be leveling a character all the way to 60 on this server, so there may be a few bug quests on the way. I don't know if any of you, ha if any of you guys have played on this server in the last month, please leave a comment. Tell me what you've run into. I don't know. Give people a little bit of uh, a heads up on what to expect. So that about sums up my thoughts and opinions on the relaunched War Song. Uh, this is again, this is just my impressions on it. This is not a review. If you guys are curious, you know, hey. You're adults. Go ahead and go try it. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Who's to say you guys have, can't have a good time on it? Uh, anyway, this has been Dr. Nomad. Uh, you guys take care. Have a good day. I don't know, maybe go get a beer or something. And uh, I'll catch you guys later. Take care. Oh, and uh, also, fuck Movie Bop. It's a long, hard, dusty road. Journey on through a world you've never known. Only time will tell you if or not if your life has been in.